Welcome to this introduction video on how to install and calibrate your robotic wrist camera. For the purpose of this video, a robotic adaptive gripper is mounted on the camera in order to showcase joint features. For more information on the gripper installation and programming on E-Series, please refer to the corresponding videos. The wrist camera is a powerful tool used to locate objects on a work plane with universal robots. The USB license dongle is essential to the activation and use of your product. Under no circumstances should the user discard the license dongle. Browse to support.robotic.com Select your product Locate the UR cap and click on the file to download it. Connect a USB storage device to your computer. Find the compressed file on your computer and extract its content at the root of the USB storage device. We will now mount the camera on the robot. With the robot turned off, align the camera's dowel pin with the hole on the robot wrist. Screw in using the provided screws. The first option to add an end effector to the assembly is to mount a robotic gripper using M5 screws, which are made available with a camera plus gripper combo kit or with a basic gripper unit. The second option consists in fastening the provided adapter plate which emulates the universal robot's wrist in order to add other end effectors to the assembly. Unroll the device cable and make it run along the robot arm, securing it along the way. With the remaining cable length, route the cable to the robot controller in the safest manner so that it does not get tangled up. People could trip over a loose cord. Next, connect the cable to the controller using terminal blocks. The first two blocks are 24 volt blocks, while the last two blocks are 0 volt blocks. Remove one of the 24 volt terminal blocks. Using a 2 mm slotted screwdriver, Loosen one of the 24 volts terminal connectors and insert the red wire. Make sure to secure the wire by fastening the screw. Push the terminal block back into place. Now remove one of the 0 volt terminal blocks and use the 2 mm slotted screwdriver to loosen one of the zero volts terminal connectors. Insert the black wire and secure the wire. Now push the terminal block back into place. Connect the USB cable to the four port USB hub. While you are at it, pick up the USB storage device containing the vision server and UR cap as well as the Vision Server's license dongle and connect them both to the 4-port USB hub. Now plug the 4-port USB in the robot controller. Power on the robot. From this point on, the USB storage device containing the Vision Server must not be unplugged. It acts as a memory expansion for the Vision system. Please refer to the instruction manual of the wrist camera for updating or removing the software. In order to install the UR cap, tap the triple bar icon and select Settings. In the navigation pane on the left, tap System and UR caps. Tap the plus button and select the corresponding USB drive.
tap the UR cap you wish to install and tap the Open button. Restart the robot software to complete the installation. From this point on, the USB storage device will not be visible in the user interface. That is to prevent altering the files of the Vision system. Now, make sure everything is functioning properly. Tap the Installation button. Select UR caps in the navigation pane on the left. Tap the Camera button and go to the dashboard. Verify the status. The system will review the software and firmware compatibility. If a newer version is required, the user will be prompted to install the Vision server and update the firmware directly in the interface. The camera is now up and running. You are now all set to perform camera locate instructions with your wrist camera on Universal Robots. See you in the next video.